Let's talk about visual glide path indicators. The visual approach slope indicator, or VASI, can be seen during the daylight about three to five miles away and at night about 20 miles away. It is usually set with a three degree glide slope, but it might be up to 4.5 degrees. White and red lights are used to help you determine whether you are above, below, or right on the glide path. If you are flying below the glide path, you will have two red bars. On the glide path will display a red and white combination, and all white means you are above the glide path. The Precision Approach Path Indicator, or PAPI, is a little more precise than VASI. Its range is 5 miles during the day and up to 20 miles at night. Four white lights means you're too high and above 3.5 degrees. One red light means just a little high or about 3.2 degrees. Two red and two white lights means you are right on the glide path at 3 degrees. A little too low is three red and one white light at 2.8 degrees. And finally, two low is four reds at less than 2.5 degrees. The pulsating VASI, or PVASI, which uses a two-color system of steady to pulsating lights to indicate how high or low you are, and the tricolored VASI, which is a three-colored amber, green, and red for high on the glide path and too low, respectively, are not in this flight sim and in the real world are not as common, so I won't go into detail on those here. The descent rate will vary depending on how fast you are moving over the ground, also known as ground speed, which can be different from what is showing on the airspeed indicator because of the effects of wind. But there is an easy formula to determine the descent rate for a three degree glide slope you can use if you know your ground speed. It is ground speed divided by two and then add a zero. For example, if my ground speed is 60 knots, then 60 divided by 2 equals 30, and when I add a 0, that's 300. So a 300 feet per minute descent rate will keep me at a 3 degree slope at 60 knots. One more example. If my ground speed is 90 knots, then 90 divided by 2 is 45, so adding a 0 makes that a 450 feet per minute descent rate. The trick is you will change ground speeds as you get close to the runway, so your descent rate will need to change as well. So keep that in mind. In this example, I'm coming into the Spirit of St. Louis Airport for a runway eight ride, as it has the VASI visual glide path indicator. This is how the lights should look if you are coming right on the glide path. If you are too low on the glide path, add a little power and raise the nose a little to hold altitude until you intercept the glide path. Once you are on the glide path, lower the power and the nose to resume the glide path with the appropriate approach speed. If you are too high, you can add flaps, reduce power, or do both to intercept the glide path. You can also do a slip, which we will discuss in another video. Once intercepted, you can then add a little power and raise the nose a bit to maintain the glide path. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.